What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 8. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an absolute banger of a team to show off today. We got ourselves a Kyrim White Weakness Policy Squad. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support. We just passed 7,500 subscribers across the channel, and that is amazing to me. Seriously, guys, cannot thank you guys enough. Really, it does go a long way. But Rocking out on the scene, the one and only we're getting started with the star Pokemon, Kyron White in the top left corner. Dragon and Ice typing. I really do like that typing. It is phenomenal considering not a lot of Pokemon usually have that. We got the Turbo Blaze ability, which works just like the Terra Volt on, uh, on Zekrom. So it can hit through abilities and not even have to worry about them. We got the weakness policy as our item. Protect, Draco Meter for Sab, Blizzard for Sab, and Fusion Player. I do not know if that's like his signature move, but it kind of seems like it. Hopefully we get to shut it off and check out what it's about. We got Grimstall right next to him with the Prankster ability. Light Clay so we can set up Reflex and Light Screams. We also got Fake Tears for Special Defense Drop and Spirit Break for our stab move and Special Attack Drop. Beyond my face cam is one of the best support mods. We got Incineroar with Intimidate and them safety goggles over there so it cannot get put to sleep or get hit by buffets, which is amazing. We got Fake Out, Flare Blitz, Darkest Area, and Parting Shot. We also have another Intimidate Pokemon on the scene with Landris, so we got Double Intimidate. Physical Attacker is going to be no problem for us. We got uh, Assault Vest on him so he can actually eat up some special attacking shots. EQ, Fly, Rock Slide, and U-Turn. Bottom left corner is our Life Orb Pokemon with Zapdos, Static Ability, Detect, so we can actually protect up here, Thunderbolt for Stab, Hurricane for Stab, and Heat Wave for our coverage move. Then in the final spot is going to be our Tailwind Pokemon, and also the Pokemon that can trigger our weakness policy on our Kyrim. We got Whimsicott over here with the Prankster Ability, the Focus Sash, Tailwind, Fake Tears, Memento, and Fairy Wind to actually proc that policy. Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that Ranked Double Ladder and try to get some wins with this Kyrim White team. Going up against one of the strongest teams in Series 8 right now, we're going up against a Kyogre Tornado team alongside with Incineroar, Amoongus, Kartana, and Urshifu. Um, guys, after I did that little intro, I looked at the name. I don't know if I'm saying his name wrong. Is it Kyrim or Kyrim? I feel like it's Kyrim now that I looked at his name because it has that little U. But either way, throughout this video, I'm going to be saying Kyrim or Kyrim. Either way, like I'm just going to be going after it like that. So do not... Do not give me some crap for that. Do not give me crap in the comment section down below. Because I already addressed it. But who should we go with the lead here? I kind of want to go in with the uh, Kyrim. With the Whimsicott. Set off that weakness policy. He might set the rain. He might do all that. But then I can set up a tail and kind of get after it. Uh, Tornado. He, he's going to have weather control regardless. Just have that instant war. It's special attacking. Uh, yeah, we're going to try to get this old weakness policy set. I do want to bring in an Intimidate Mon. And I definitely want to bring in Zapdos as well. Because that this can do work up against the Kyogre and that Amoongus and also that Urshifu. Then in the final spot, do I go with Lando or Incineroar? They both get dumped on by Kyogre. They both get dumped on by Kyogre, but I do want to intimidate Mon to come out here. I probably want to bring Incineroar considering we can, uh... We have the safety goggles for his Amoongus. And that is super effective against the Amoongus and the Kartana. But I kind of like that. I kind of am liking that. And I believe, uh... Kyrim is special attacking, so I don't have to worry about his Intimidate Mon coming out here and doing work on the main. But I do hit through abilities. I'm trying to think what ability do I hit through on this team. I feel like all their abilities are just like hitting abilities, so I don't really have to worry about them with my Turbo Blaze. But hopefully we can just practice policy and defeat this top tier Series 18. That'd be huge for us. You get started like that? Here goes Kyogre and Tornadus. Bruh. Bruh, yo, chill on me. Leave me alone. Uh, I think I'm going to have to tail and match you. Look how dope this Pokemon looks. Oh my lord, yo, he looks so sick. He's gonna get a drizzle rolling. He's gonna get a drizzle rolling. Um, do I just get after that thing? I might just get after that Kyogre Dynamax here. I could fusion fire. Let me see what fusion fire looks. I'm not gonna do it. I just want to see. It. User brings down a giant flame. This move's power is increased by the influence by enormous lightning bolt. Yeah, this is definitely his uh, his increase when influenced by enormous lightning. What do you mean by that? Is that like an electric train? I might just warm one over on the Kyogre slot. Or, you know what? I'm going to Blizzard, Max Hellstorm, and change up this weather. And try to take you out. And in the meantime, I am also going to Fairy Wind. Uh, do I... Or do I set up a Tailwind? Nah, because you can actually set up a Tailwind this turn. That's totally fine. We'll be able to set it up next turn. And I think we'll be thriving, because then we'll have an extra turn with it. And this will take out the, uh... The Thunders, no problem. Considering we have the Buffets. And he's going to withdraw the Kyogre, so big turn for us. Big turn for us. Who's he going to go into? A Fairy Pokemon? We go into Incineroar and get that that attack drop, which is totally fine. We are special attacking. We don't play around here. And I wonder what uh, Tornadus is going for. Is he going to try to set up a Tailwind? Is he going to taunt me? 
Like, that'd be fine if you taunt me. Like, I feel like either way, we're thriving here. So hopefully he goes for a taunt and we practice weakness policy for free. We get off a free shot and we get long from here. But look at, dude, this dude looks so sick. He looks so sick. It's making me wish I uh, played black and white to its fullest potential. I heard that game's phenomenal. I did beat it, but I just, like, beat all the gems and finished up the main story. So he's going to tailwind. That's totally fine. It's basically a waste of a turn because we can just tailwind next turn. Very wind's going to come out here. Bang, proc our policy. And we're going to get rolling from here. Tornado's is going to go down. We're going to change up this weather, which is huge. And then I can go for a worm win next turn if I really want to. It really depends. If he brings out Kyogre. Because I kind of want this weather gone. But this thing's out of my face. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. He has Sash, but the Buffets is going to take him out. Which is huge. Which is huge. Get him out of here. We don't need him here. We do not need him. That's a big first turn for us. Uh, especially up against a Kyogre team. I wonder why he did swap. Did he think I'm physical attacking? Is that why? Does he think this thing's electric typing? When we were Ice and Dragon? But I love having that ice typing, so ice is not super effective to us. Awesome. Awesome typing for a dragon. And I feel like a really strong typing would be water and dragon. Is there any water and dragon typings? I used to think Gyarados was, but he's water and flying. But that was like a while ago. He's going to drop Urshifu, which is totally fine here. Um, I am going to warm when drop this attack. And he, Urshifu could protect. I could totally see that happening. And I am going to set up a Tailwind here. Get my team back into the speed game. Because this attack drop would be huge. And then I might swap Wimscott. Or if they take out my Wimscott, I'm totally fine by that. Because I don't think fire is super effective to us either. Is it? Because we're part dragon type. Like, the typing just pairs so well. Usually things that are super effective to ice are not super effective to dragon. And vice versa. It's really, really dope. Only thing that gets us is fairy. But he doesn't have any fairy type yet. But fire might still be super effective to us. He's gonna fake me out. Okay, so he's gonna double up into me. That's totally fine. Uh, Wimscott can go down. I really don't mind it. I'm gonna go for a close combat. Drop all the stats. We're gonna be able to eat that up. And we're gonna get an attack drop on him. Oh, I'm totally fine by that. Can we take out this, uh, this instant ore here? I would love to get off my tailwind. Take, out, take him out. Get him out of here. Yo, we're thriving. We still have Zapdos in the back. We still do have Zapdos in the back. And we're gonna have speed advantage for the last two turns of our tailwind. You get that attack drop. Oh, it's gonna come out. Um, how should I play this one? How should Genius play this one? I don't think another close combat takes me out. Actually, it might. Unless I swap. I really do want a tail one. I really do want a tail one up here. Um, I could guard. Set up a tail one. He still has a Dynamax. Which is rather scary. Uh, would I rather take out that Urshfruit? Urshfruit will go down in one shot, no problem. He has minus one. I really don't want to worry about that Urshfu. I kind of want to put him down into minus two. Go after Skyogre and set up a Tailwind. Where do I fake tears? I'm going to Tailwind. I am going to Tailwind because I think uh, Kyron will be able to outspeed Kyogre in the Tailwind. It might not be able to outspeed the Urshfu, but he's minus one. His defense is dropped really, really low. He might be choice into that. But once the Tailwind ends, it is raining, so my Hurricanes will be 100%. I still have Zapdos, um, and I have Incineroar, but Incineroar doesn't really do too, too much here. I really could be clutching it out for him. Let's see what happens here. He's going to protect or something. We're going to be able to finally get off our Tailwind. Late game Tailwind. going to help us out. Go ahead, Kyrim. Outspeed them all. He's going to be able to go for close combat. Eat this up. We do not eat. Okay, that's fine. We do not eat. He's going to be able to pick up a double kill here. Okay, uh, Incineroar is going to come out here. I can pick out the Urshifu, no problem. And I think Zapdos might be faster than Kyogre. Let's see, here goes a geyser. That's totally fine. Can you eat this up? Probably not. Yeah, I was going to say, probably not because of the rain. Okay. I just need that. That Urshifu is kind of bothering me. He's going to go down the minus two, but so. We go here. We are going to go here. We do have Thunderbolt. And I don't know if this thing's policy. That's my problem. He can one-shot us all. Which I don't really like. I am going to protect my... Uh, I think I do protect the what's it called. Do I protect the Zapdos? I might protect the Zapdos just so we get speed advantage next turn. Take you out. It doesn't do any damage to us. I am going to detect here. Attacks X, X is a protect. This move enables the user to protect itself from all attacks. Its chance of failing rises if it is. But what's the difference between detect and protect? Is there like a full-blown difference or are they just kind of like this? 
I'm gonna detect here. I'm gonna say, yo, knock it off. Chill on me. I'm gonna protect myself. I'm gonna be able to drop a fake out here just so he doesn't get off with another shot. Does some big damage for a fake out. <laughs> He's gonna be able to go for eight guys. There's no way you went after my Incineroar. No way you went after my Incineroar. No, he goes after Zapdos, which is huge. The attack we're able to eat up, and now I know for sure we outspeed next turn. Um, how do I roll out with this one? I think I Darkest Lariat. Oh, I can't. Mm. I still think I do that. And I have to go for a T Bolt here. I have to go for a T Bolt here. Maybe we get a Paralyze. We can do something along those lines. Thunderbolts come out here. How much damage are we doing? Not enough. Give me Para. Give me the Para Hat. No Para Hacks. We're dead. Oh my god. GG. This was a good game. This was a really good game. And you outspeed my Incineroar still? We do eat. We do eat. He's going to be able to take out my What's Called here. His defense is done. We might be able to take out Urshifu here. Dark Slayer is going to come out here. Come on, baby. Take him out. Nothing. We did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Guys, can come, come out here. Go after Incineroar, please. Go after Incineroar. Please. No, Zapdos. That's GG. Zapdos was a big threat. He ends up picking up that win in battle number one. But so I thought it was a good battle. We got to show up Kyrim. This Kyogre overpowers. He really does. Especially he gets in his range. He's bulky. There's a lot of super effective moves. I'm surprised he wasn't hitting us with a, uh, with a, whatever that's called. The Ice Drop. The Hailstorm. But we kind of need Earth's food to miss. I'm, I'm gonna stick through this battle, see what, see, what, see what we can do. Close combat's gonna come through. That's gonna pick up KO regardless. Close combat's just really, really strong. Even with the minus two attack drop, it's still base 120. He could be choice banded into it. And then he also has the stab damage. But GG, Kyogre's overpowering. But Kyrim, we got to show him off in battle number one. Trying to get our first win here in battle number two. This guy has a Zygarde team alongside with Confi. So you know we bring in that Kyrim because we got that ice. We're super effective. We could be able to roll out after him. I'm bringing that same exact lead with the Women's Cot. Kyrim, Kyrim, whatever you want to call it. And then alongside with him, he has a lot of special attackers. I do. I kind of want to bring Zapdos and uh, Incineroar again. I kind of want to do that. He has a few physical. I do need an Intimidate Pokemon. And I think I'd rather have the Safety Goggles and Incineroar. Over the assault. Actually, I don't know. Assault Fest with some special attackers would be pretty good. But the thing is, Incineroar is super effective up against, yeah, the Rillaboom, the Venusaur. Yeah, we, we're definitely going to I'm getting after it. I like, I like the same squad. I think same squad. going to rock out here. Definitely bring that Zapdos. Because Zapdos is super effective up against that Rillaboom, Urshifu, and Venusaur with stab damage. I kind of like that. I, the only thing I'm really worried about here is going to be the... Uh, the Zygarde Confi combo. Hmm. He does have Triage. I do know that. I think if I proc policy, I might be able to outspeed Zygarde. Maybe. I do have Tailwind. I do have Tailwind. Then he might just start ally switching, which kind of bothers me. Really don't like that one bit. That he can just ally switch and go from there. Let's just see what he does. Let's see, let's see what let's see what his plan is. He's gonna go Zygarde Confi. He might. No, he's gonna go Rillaboom and Confi. Okay. Rillaboom and Confi here. Uh, he's probably going to fake out my Wimscott and try to get after me. Uh, in that case, do I just drop a Blizzard? And have maybe... Confi just proc my policy? Confi could set up a Trick Room. So we are not going to Tailwind here. I'm not going to Tailwind here. I am going to go for a straight Blizzard. I do have Fusion Play, which I really do want to try out. But Blizzard. But Blizzard Stab. I am going to try to uh, pull off a Blizzard. Hmm. Probably gonna try to fake me out. Uh, I really do not want to set up a fake tears. Or not a fake tears, a, uh, a tailwind in case he trick rooms here. He's gonna withdraw Robin, that's totally fine. And who's he gonna drop in here? Whom are you gonna bring? I got, oh, that thing's shiny. That thing's looking spiffy. I wonder if he's gonna roll a trick room. So we are gonna be able to get off a of fake tears. If this Blizzard lands, it's GG. It's GG for that Zygarde. Blizzard land. No. No, who avoided it? Who avoided it? Yes. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> the only Pokemon that I wanted to avoid it was Confi. We take out Zygarde. No problem. Let's go. He's setting up that Trick Room. Kind of saw that coming. Okay. The way has Trick Room rolling, he's out of a Zygarde. His Real Boom, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. I might I still might Dynamax out Kyramir and just start, uh, I could Memento on a, on a Pokemon, which I probably will do later in the match. I might proc policy now. He's probably going to go back into Rillaboom and try to finish me off. Yeah. He's going to go back out in the Rillaboom. And I could see a Dynamax here. So, in that case... I want to show a Fusion Play. I really do. 
I really want to show off Fusion Flare. I think I might just do that. But let's try to show off Fusion Flare here. Let's go for it. Let's try to fake tear him up. Get buzzing from there. He might Dynamax him. But I really just want to see what Fusion Flare does. He goes for a Draining Kiss. That's going to proc my policy. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you for proccing my policy, buddy. Thank you for doing that. You say buy this Rillaboom. There's no way Rillaboom's taking me out in one shot. What's Rillaboom going to go for? He's going to go for a fake out. Okay, never mind. But still, we're still going to be able to take this thing out with a Fusion Flare. That is plus two. Let's see what this move looks like. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. If you guys know what uh, the electric thing that's, that is said in the description below, let me know in the comment section down below. That means I need an electric terrain. Is that what it means? I'm going to Dynamax Kyrim now. Let's step into play. We're dominating the second battle. We really are. I don't even need a Tailwind. I can just fake tears. I might, I'm probably going to Memento onto the next Pokemon. Take myself out and drop the thing's attack stats. And just kind of secure this victory. Yeah, it's Urshifu. Let's do that. Right? Is that, that That's what Memento does, right? I'm going to drop a Wormwind here. I might ally switch, so in that case, I'm going to drop one. Good ally switch. But that's what uh, Memento does, right? Use your feints in return. This harsh lowers. Yeah, yeah. Let's 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 get rid of this Urshifu. This Urshifu is the only thing that can actually beat me in this game. So if I just drop its attack stats, we should be thriving here. We're gonna Dynamax. I can see him potentially Dynamaxing. But once I get this thing off, it's gonna. I think it minus is three. Both its attack stats for the cost of my life. Like that's huge. It's two or three, which is enormous. That's like plenty. Hiram's dominating. We got to show up that fusion flare this one. And our blizzard just knocked out that side guard. That's why exactly why I brought uh, my boy out into this front slot here. I was like, let me get after it. We go from there. He's going to Dynamax Urshfu as well. Dude, it's GG's. It is GG's, man. GG's. I don't I don't know what you want. You're going to Dynamax this thing. You do not know I'm rocking Memento. And I'm just going to drop your attack. And you're going to be like, bruh, it's over. You're going to hit like a little like a little feather. Like a little pillow. Like my pillow is going to be able to hit harder than What's going on here? Draining kids coming out here. Mwah, yo, that's a tasty snack. Yeah. And I think Urshfu is the fastest now. Oh my god, it doesn't affect him. What am I doing? It doesn't affect him. Dang, dude. I thought I had a good play rolling. But still, we're doing. There, there. That's fine. That that does the work. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> we didn't even need the memento. He's just gonna be able to get off a of one like max knuckle on me. Hiram's hitting like an absolute truck right now. He's gonna go for the knuckle. I think we should be still be able to eat this up, right? Yeah. Things a beast. Things a beast. Buffett's is gonna take him out, and he's probably just gonna cancel battle next turn because there's no way to survive the next shot. Not gonna survive another hailstorm. Get him out of here. Get these dudes out of here. Match was easy. We're gonna be able to go one and one here and try to go for a winning record in battle number three, which is awesome. Because I thought we played that first battle really, really good, especially in the beginning. In the beginning we were kind of buzzing with, but then Kai Ogre just comes out here and he's so tough to play up against because he just has all the control. He just has all the control. He has the weather. He has the damage control. He's able to eat up shots. And then he had the... He's decently fast as well. So it's just like, ah. Oh. And he waited out and he had the Dynamax. So he was very, very bulky. I was like, bruh. I don't not know what to do with him. But I can come out here, finish off this battle with that Max Hailstorm. And, uh... This will Fairy win? I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. He doesn't have Sash because the Urshfu had the Sash. And the battle was canceled. I knew he was going to cancel that. Let's go, guys. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Looking for that winning record for the jeans online. Come on, come on, baby. Looking for it for you guys. Trying to get after it. Going up against a Groudon Sun team alongside with Cherum, Helio Wiss. All these guys really thrive in the sun besides Togekiss and uh, Wimscott. But guys, I've been curious. I was looking stuff up online before I did play this team. What is the difference between Chiron White and Chiron Black? Are they the same Pokemon? Do they have different typing? Like, I couldn't really find anything on it. So if you guys know, please let me know in the comment section down below. We're going to get rolling here. He has the sun. I got to kind of take weather control. Uh, Groudon is physical. And I believe... No, Heliowisk is not. I kind of want to try to take speed here. Um, I kind of want to go same. But he does get torn up by a little bit of fire. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. What do I want to do? What do the want to do? I don't want to set up Reflex, though. If I want to bring Zapdos, I thought I'd bring Kyrim again. Okay, let's go here. Oh, uh, withdraw you. Withdraw you. Uh, I see the time. We go here. Kyrim and Zapdos. I think it's play. I, th I think I think we're thriving with this one. I think we are thriving with this one. I definitely want to get off some screens here. Try to roll out. I do have my Kyrim in the back, but we did not bring Wimscott, which maybe I should have. Yeah, I win, but. I probably should have brought Wimscott and led the Grimstarl with it. Probably should have went Wimscott, Grimstarl, Kyrim, and then 
that boost. That probably should have been the team, but I was starting to rush at the end. Hopefully, we can still pick up this win for you guys. Uh, he's going to lead Helio, Whisk, and Wimscott. We should be able to set up a Tailwind here. I didn't think he was going to bring in Tailwind guy. Uh, I can't fake out. Or I can set up a what's called, which would be pretty nice. A light screen. Um, do I light screen? Do I fake out? How do I play this one? Hmm. I'm just going to light screen here. Let's drop a light screen. Get that rolling. I might not even fake out. I should go straight for a flare blitz. I'm going to go straight for a flare blitz. And get after you. Do I get after you or do I get after a Helios? i fake out the Helios. I think I'm just going to fake out the Helios. Let him set up the Tailwind. Start wasting those turns out now. All right, set up a Tailwind. I don't mind. There you go. Nice damage on that thing. Tailwind's going to get set up. I'm going to be able to set up a Light Screen here. So we could have went Tailwind for Tailwind. I'm, I wasn't too worried about the one guy. I just don't know what the Helios is doing. Is he going to paralyze me? Is he going to do certain things that I don't want him to do? Uh, now I am just going to start Spirit Breaking over on the U. And dropping a Flare Blitz to take out this Helio Whisk. Because I believe this Flare Blitz should be able to take him out. No problem. Let's see what he does. Let's see what you do, kind sir. Make a move. I could Parting Shot. I might Parting Shot next. Right. So I kind of want to bring Incineroar back. I can if I do have the chance. And then if he brings out a physical attack, I can just set up a reflect. So what are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? Make a move. But so as you guys know, burns half physical damage. Why doesn't poison half special attacking? Makes no sense to me. Yo, it don't affect me, dude. Don't affect me. He's gonna go for a discharge, that's totally fine. He's probably gonna get the double paralyzed. Wouldn't be surprised. And I think it's going to get eject button. That's totally fine. I'm going to be able to flare blitz here. And I'm hopefully it's a special attack because I'm dropping a spear break into that. And that'd be nice. Who's it going to be? Drowdon. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Drowdon's coming out here. He is going to hit me with a uh, Suppice Blades and uh, take out my Incineroar. So I do have to swap. I could swap into my Zapdos. It could be very, very lovely. Which I'm probably going to do next turn. I'm going to set up a Reflect and swap into my Zapdos. But what's going to come out here? And he set the Drowdon for me. Thank you very much. See you later, Helios. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Yeah, so I'm going to swap into Zapdos. Get a free swap. Because I know he's going for that Suffice Blades. No doubt in my mind. And then I can come back later for another Fake Out and another Intimidate Drop. So Reflect into that. Should be chilling. Who's he going to go into? Sherem. Sherem with that Flower Gift. He's going to change. And he, he helps. Uh, I think he, he has like a disability. It helps him out. Let's see if I can actually see it in the info. Let's see. Harsh Sunlight. No, it doesn't say anything about it. Can I, like, read up on anything on it? It, like, boosts his team, like, special defense or something like that. Uh, but I'm going to set up this Reflect. And then I'm just going to do a hard swap into Zapdos. I think that's play. I think that's golden play. Let's see what he does. Get out my Zappy, boy. I don't think he Dynamaxed here. I really don't. Helping hands can come out here. Go for your Precipice Blades. Go for it, man. Go for it. Reflect's popping here. We're going to be able to eat that up a little bit. Grimstar might be able to eat this turn. Let's see what he does. And, like I said, he's going for his move. All that from a mile away. That's why we got that free swap in, which was lovely. Grimstar does eat, which is huge. Um, okay. So now the play here. I am physical attacking with Zapdos. Right? I believe I am. So I'm just going to drop your special attack. I believe I'm physical, right? No, I'm special. I'm going to drop a heat wave. I think I just drop a heat wave here. In this in this heat? That's totally fine. Uh, I could save my Dynamax. I'm kinda trying to waste out these tailwind turns. It just has Wimscott, so the main Pokemon is going to be that Groudon. Hmm. I'm just gonna drop a heat wave here. Main Pokemon is gonna be that Groudon. Maybe I should have Dynamaxed by what's called. Maybe I should have Dynamaxed by Zapdos here. But he's going to go for Heat Crash over onto my Zapdos. Oh, no. Over onto my Grimstarl? Nope. Onto my Zapdos. Eat it up. Nope. We're dead. Heat Crash rocks out. So he's just there helping handing, doing work. So I see didn't Dynamax yet. i will be able to do a decent amount of damage there. Another Spirit Break. We'll be able to take that out. Um, I do want Kyrim out here. But at the same time... Oh, their Tailwind is gone. going to get out Incineroar. I am going to get out Incineroar. Uh, just for that Intimidate Drop. 
And I'm gonna just wait for my that what's called to go down and try to wait waste out this heat. Big old intimidate. The party shot again. Fear break will take you out. And I am going to party shot onto you. And just keep dropping this guy out on stats. I'm gonna be playing. I'm not faking out. I'm not faking anybody out here. I really want this party shot to go through. He's gonna go for the precipice blades again. Mm, this one's tough. He's gonna pick up the oh he's gonna pick up the double clutch. Should have faked out. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Wait, Tailwind did Peter out, right? He's gonna protect you. Oh, he's gonna double protect. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Um I don't know what to do here. This one's gonna be tough. This one's gonna be super, super tough. He's gonna be able to pick up the double kill. I could swap into Kyrim here. But I'd rather try to get off this part and shot. Kyrim's gonna have to be my Dynamax Pokemon and win this battle for us. He's gonna withdraw the ground on. That's totally fine. I'm gonna be able to party shot and get out uh what's called next turn. A solar blade onto me. I'm gonna absorb light. We're gonna say bye-bye the Gumsnarl. Okay. Oh my lord, that move! Show me, man! That's a sick move. That's a sick looking move. I'm gonna be able to get off my fake out again. Um That's totally fine. He's gonna be able to get off a tailwind. Oh, this one's gonna be super close. This one's gonna be super close. Gotta get out Kyrim. So I do have my fake out ready to roll. I do have my fake out. We have to Dynamax him. 100% have to Dynamax him. Our sunlight does fade. He might swap back in. I'm gonna drop the ice onto. Onto who? Wimscott? Yeah, I do not want Wimscott, like, dropping some stats of mine. I get back out you. I do have my fake out. Uh, I guess I fake out the Cherim. Does Wimscott... Actually, no. We fake out the Wimscott. We don't let him get that Tailwind off. We do not let him get off that Tailwind. Not one bit. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to be able to come out here, fake you out, and take him out as well. We do not let him get off that, uh, that Tailwind. Not happening. And we take weather control, even though he's just going to drown us next turn. Mm, this one's gonna be super, super close. Thing is, hopefully Kyrim outspeeds Groudon. Because in that case, we can get off a worm win, get a physical attack drop, which would be huge for us. And then be able to parting shot, kind of just keep knocking down his attack and finish out this battle. But yo, we got some awesome battles for today's video. The first one was close, this one's really close. Second one we dominated, though. Kyrim protects, that's perfectly fine by me, so he's not gonna be able to get off turn here. Big out's gonna come out here, Wimscott's gonna go down, which is lovely. Brown's gonna be able to come out next turn. We just do not want a tailwind being able to set up here. We want all the speed. We want it all. So there you go, you're dead. Um now the play here is it what, what would the play be? None of my Pokemon takes buffets because of the safety goggles and the I'm um, ice typing. Now would the next play be to Worm went onto the charm and take that out? And parting shot over onto the Groudon? Or double up in the Groudon slot? I don't want the Groudon just like guarding and taking that away from me. Send up the drought. Or I can I think I drop I, I really do want to drop ice. Take that weather control. Lower gift's coming back out here. I said we drop ice when we parting shot. Right? Yeah. We gotta take weather. This is super effective to him too. I feel like he might guard, so in that case I got to get rid of this charm. Let me, check, let me check the uh, speed. Let me check my speed here. Check my boy's speed. I think he should be faster than the ground on, which can be huge. 115. That's going to be kind of close. Yo, look how dope he looks. He looks so sick. Look at them stats. Look at them stats. Uh, yeah, I think I drop the Hailstorm onto you. This ground on could protect, and I really need this weather. I really need this weather, yeah. Here comes the 9 max. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what he does here. The speeds are close. The speeds are definitely close. Terum cannot protect. I want it out of here. I want this flower gift going. He's gonna go for a late ground on Dynamax here. 
feel like we should be able to eat up whatever he has to offer if we can outspeed and change up the weather. Oh no, oh no, oh no. He's helping hand. Someone go before him. Oh no, he's gonna quake. Over on the Incineroar. Go, go into Incineroar slot. Yes. That's fine by me. Okay. If I drop ice here, I take weather control. He does get a special defense boost. Which I don't like. Maybe he procs my policy next turn with a flare. Take it back. And then I just hit him with a wormwind. Or another ice. I'll probably hit him with a hailstorm. Here comes my hailstorm now. Cherim's definitely gone here. You know, it's plus one. Get him out of here. Right, so Cherim gone. We get rid of the Flower Griff. I believe Flower Griff is a special defense boost for the home team. I believe that's its ability. I think that's what it does. Don't let me know in the comment section down below. I know you guys know all about this. <laughs> but it comes down to Battle of the Legendaries right here. No, our light screen. Oh, no, no. We don't, we don't need to worry about light screen. We just worry about our reflect. Our reflect is still up, which is huge. Um, then I'm going to drop this again. I want my weather control. Hopefully, he goes for a flare. And will that proc a policy? I think that might be super effective. It might not be. See what he does. He's going to guard. Don't like that one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. Here's the buffets. Ooh. Smart guard by him. Uh, do I detect here? I don't think I detect. Do I protect here? Do I protect? Do I protect? Uh, waste out his time next turns. No, because then he's just going to be able to get more damage off on me. I think I have to go for this blizzard right here, right now. Z procs my policy. Don't be able to roll. Let's see what he does. Can you go for the steel spike? Okay, get a defense boost. There goes my policy. He doesn't change up weather, so this is automatic land. This should be game. This should be game. Even though he's plus one on special defense, I think this, this should be able to pick up the KO. Blizzard's 100% in the hail. It's super effective. It's stab. We're plus two. He's plus one on special defense, but still, show it to me. Let's go. Let's get it, baby. It's a crit, too, to end it. I think we still would have KO'd without the crit. That was very, very boosted. But there we go. Pick up that win in that final battle. Get to go 2-1 and one and get that winning record for you guys. Amazing team right here. I'm glad we got to show off Kyrim White or Kyrim, however you guys want to pronounce it, in rank battles. He was tons of fun. I love the typing Dragon and Ice, and we rocked out with him. We won our first battle. Actually, no. We lost our first battle. It was very, very close. We dominated the second battle, ended up picking up a W there. And then third and final battle came down to the wire, but we were able to pull it off and get that winning record for you guys. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.